Hello, I'm Marites Vitug. Welcome to Raptor Talk. Joining us is retired Major General Domingo Tutan, former spokesperson of the Armed Forces of the Philippines. He served with the military for 38, almost 38 years. I will be talking to him about this phenomenon of red tagging in the lead up to the May elections. Why this is happening and what can be done about it. To our viewers, please send your questions via the comment section of Facebook. Sir, General Tutan, thank you so much for making time for this interview. Thank you very much also, Marites. Thank you for your production staff. Uh, I'm very glad to be here. Uh, good afternoon to all these, uh, our listeners and subscribers. Sir, uh, you've been with the military for more than 30 years. Have you yeah. experienced this phenomenon of red tagging in your entire career in the AFP? Actually, uh, none. Uh, you know, uh, ever since, uh, I served, uh, to be exact, I served 37 years, 8 months, and 4 days with the Armed Forces of the Philippines. And never there was a policy of government, most especially by the Armed Forces of the Philippines, on red tagging individuals. Uh, whatever their opinion may be, their uh, inclination may be, it is not uh, for us to red tag them. And so uh, really, uh, th this is not a policy. It's a non-policy by government and by the AFP. And uh, I was uh, previously the chief of the AFP Human Rights Office. And this is one of our advocacies that we are uh, uh, undertaking at that time to ensure that... Uh, uh, individuals or groups of individuals are not red tag uh, because it's a violation of human rights so to speak uh, it may not be included in the un human rights uh, declaration of human rights but it is uh, a phenomenon of, of some sort that will really uh, violate the rights of an individual or a, a, a groups of individuals so sir how did this come about and were you surprised that uh, this phenomenon, I think, if I'm right, it started a few years ago after President Duterte came into office. So how did how did this come about, or was there a like a, a building up before 2016, sir? You know, my my humble opinion on that matter, uh, Marites. No, I think this red tagging started with Undersecretary Lorraine Badoy. She started this uh, as 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 the spokesperson of a. Uh, the NTF LCAC on a special concerns. All of a sudden, she's calling everybody, our red tagging everybody, those who are criticizing uh, the efforts, criticizing government, are all, are all communists and are all affiliated with the AFP, uh, with, I'm sorry, with the CPP, NP, NDF. And it's very, very surprising that uh, coming from a, a government official undertaking this. And what is very frustrating, Marites, is that dinadagdagan niya ng political color itong pagre-red tag niya ng individuals. Uh, she, she would go uh, to, to uh, campaigning for a non-vote for this and a non-vote for that, for this person, for that person. And uh, that's already uh, uh, partisan politics. You are, Yusek Badoy, in government. You should not be doing that. In the AFP, when I was in the active service, that is a very strict rule, especially when elections are there, that all members of the Armed Forces of the Philippines, active service that is, should be non-partisan. They should be apolitical. And uh, that is also, that goes true for, for government officials. Naandyan yan sa ating conduct of ethical standards of public officials and employees. Uh, I think that's Republic Act 6713. And, and you are in government. Uh, if you want to do that, resign first from government and do to your heart's content what you want to do. But not while you are in government. So, uh, so yes. asking me where it started, it started with Yusek Badoy, I think. Sir, hindi siya kinall out ng superior niya. Uh, I, I'm not aware of General uh, Esperon, head National Security Advisor. I'm not aware of uh, him admonishing, sir. That's very, yeah, that's very surprising too, uh, Marites, uh, actually. Uh, you, you know... Uh, in the past, uh, that they, it would be claimed that if somebody is called to be a member of the CPP NPA, he, he's, you know, he or she is harassed uh, allegedly by uh, the, the security sector or things like that, or something, a case will be filed against him or her and things like that. But, you know, it's never a policy to, to do that. Uh, 
I, I, yes, I am, I am really very surprised too. In my opinion, that should not be undertaken by anybody in the government. Yes. Sir, uh, recently you come out openly together with other retired uh, AFP former general, I mean, former military officers. You've come out openly to declare support for VP Lenny Robredo. Yes, and she yes. is the victim. I think she's the most uh, harassed candidate, the victim of red tagging. So uh, what can she do? A, a part, of course, she's been fighting this, you know, giving statements, but what can be really done to counter this red tagging, sir? Yeah. First, uh, Marites, uh, uh, let, let me put it in proper perspective. Uh, we didn't come out very recently. We came okay. out as early <laughs> as, the, as the time uh, VP Eddy came to uh, announce her candidacy, uh, candidacy for uh, the president. We were there. We were being consulted by her. She mismo nag initiate uh, for us to be to be to to have a discussion with him a small group discussion initially then a focus group discussion then uh, a discussion with a, a lot of retirees like me uh, who were at the helm of the AFP leadership at that time uh, uh, during our time and uh, consulting us on national security matters on our defense posture on our um, a, a modernization of the armed forces of the Philippines our stance on the West Philippine Sea and things like that yes uh, Vice President Lenny Robredo is uh, the number one victim of this uh, red tagging, or uh, in quotation marks, being undertaken uh, by members of some uh, uh, in the government. Now, let me put it this way on an analogy. You know, when uh, VP Lenny uh, started her uh, candidacy, pag-announce niya, parang, pun parang bunga siya ng puno ng mangga eh, na nasa baba ng, just, just below the tree, or uh, just uh, in the small uh, small branches of the tree. So, uh, Hindi muna pinapansin yan eh. But when VP Lenny started to gain popularity, when uh, there were a lot of supporters uh, being convinced of her being the next president, uh, when they saw that there's a program of government, a clear-cut program of government that uh, is in store if she ever becomes the president, nasa taas na siya ng puno eh, yung bunga eh. So they started, binabato na yan eh. And I, I really don't know what they're doing. Kaya... I would describe this as a, these attempts are scurrilous, really meant to, to, to defame or malign the image of Vice President Lenny Robredo. Gentlemen and ladies na naggagawa nito, remember, VP Lenny is the Vice President of the Republic of the Philippines. Accord her some honor on that position. He, she is a uh, uh, duly elected Vice President of the number two position in the whole government natin. So talagang victim siya. Now, you're asking me, uh, Marites, what should be done? Things are being done already, Marites. First, makikita natin by example, leadership by example on VP Lenny herself. Ang ginagawa lang niya is to, to make or to make a statement that this is not true. In his exact words, uh, in one of her interviews, sabi niya, para klaro ang lahat, lahat ng ito ay kasuling, kasuling, uh, kasulingan or uh, th these are all lies. Uh, yes, kasuling yes. These are all lies. And uh, why, why can that be taken into, into consideration? Many, have, uh, many are, who have uh, in the past or uh, in the present who have aligned themselves with certain persons in the, in the left. Uh, why are they not red tag? That's a big question. Kasi siguro hindi sila kandidato for president. And hindi rin sila lumalaki ang suporta nila. Many are uh, being convinced to, to join her cause and uh, supporting her candidacy for the presidency. Sir, uh, there's a question from one of our viewers, Roy Carpio de Vesa. Sir, what do you think about the CRS, I think it's Civil Relations Service? Service, yes. Yeah, of the AFP's Facebook post tagging the Makabayan bloc as rebels. Isn't this engaging in partisan politics and consistent with ba ito sa long-standing best practices in combating insurgency? No, it's not. Uh, it's never been a, a, a policy. I, as I've said, there is a, a strict regulations on this uh, in the armed forces of the Philippines. Uh, I just don't know where the, uh, the CRS is coming from. Uh, if ever, uh, and, uh, alam mo, uh, the, the campaign of the armed forces when I was in the active service, the campaign of the armed forces of the Philippines towards counterinsurgency is on focused military operations. Meaning to say, it is focused on the armed group that are engaging in violence and other crimes against public order like extortion, kidnapping, uh, murder, arson, and things like that. 
yun ang focus military operations ng AFP. Now, if your opinion or your inclination is 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 not is not aligned with let's say the or uh, with the democratic process, the form of democracy, eh, hindi hindi dapat ikaw maging threat. That you, everybody has a right to, its, to his own ex, uh, uh, inclination, but not to use arms, to use violence to propagate that cause. Yun ang hindi dapat ginagawa. So, AFP as uh, being asked there by uh, Mr. Roy is uh, uh, talagang focus military operations. Sa armed group ang, ang tutok dapat so that uh, the people will be, will be protected from whatever crimes this uh, armed group will be undertaken. Yes, if if you engage in such thing that in a way in quotation marks to my opinion are is already partisan politics. Especially if you put a uh, 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 vote for or vote not vote for uh statements uh, included in in the red tagging. Yeah, actually may comment pa si Roy. Sabi niya red tagging actually undermines the government's efforts to end insurgency. That, that's what I want to say in a manner of speaking also. You know, when uh, Yusek Badoy started to do this or some members of the NTF LCAC uh, started this red tagging, it augurs back to the presidency, to President Duterte. And I think kung, kung, kung ako siguro uh, if I if I'm asked, siguro I could uh, I I could tell uh, sir, Mr. President, uh, this is wrong. This is against the the, the, the things that uh, a government should be espousing. Uh, ang nangyayari tuloy, uh, just like what uh, Mr. Roy is saying, it, it undermines the government's efforts to end insurgency. Lalong nagkakaroon ng problema dyan, na, uh, uh, so to speak, if, if this is continued. Sir, yeah, I think you hit it well, sir, sabi nyo, kasi sinet na ng tone ni President Duterte. In fact, President Duterte, without mentioning VP Lenny's name, said one of the candidates is see, um, see even the president. Him. Even the president has been careful about it, probably because he, he knows <laughs> that. But but those below him, this uh, spokesperson of can suddenly after uh, 2018, uh, 20, 2016, suddenly became an expert in counter insurgency. Uh, Red tagging, basta uh, ayaw mo sa you criticize government, CPP, NPA ka. May, parang gano, that's not right. I mean, you don't, you don't win the, the war or you don't win the battle against insurgency by doing that. Uh, very surprising talaga. And makikita mo, I'd like to use a quote in, 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 uh, in the Latin uh, being used by some uh, law, law professionals. No? Yung, falsus in uno, falsus in omnibus. False in one, false in all. Diba? Magkikita mo. Just recently, Yusek Badoy made mention that there are 24,000 people or uh, communist terrorists who surrendered and are now enjoying the benefits of LCAC's uh, 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 ayuda, if I may call it. I don't know the exact term, but yung mga binibigay sa kanila. 24,000. You know, Marites, when I retired and when... Uh, uh, I think it Dodo Iriberi, General Iriberi, retired in 2016 also, just before the end of the term of uh, uh, the late President Aquino. The strength of the CPP NPA is just about 3,000, 3,005. NTF LCAC started in 2018, I would say. So you mean to say from 2016 to 2018, it rose from 3,500 to 24,000 or 27,000, as in the case may be? Parang... Very surprising, di ba? Biglang laki, biglang andami. Uh, I think that's the reason why uh, Senate has cut up their budget kasi hindi rin nila ma-explain siguro kung saan pumunta yung, yung budget for that. I mean, very funny, ha? Huh? Yeah, you, you could look at the uh, the, 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 the posts of uh, Yusek Badoy. 24,000, almost 24,000 na ang nag-surrender. So, ganun kalaki ba ang... Pan I, I remember when uh, 1986, the, the strength of the CPP NPA was that 25,000 in 1986. And through the years, uh, through the service of several uh, presidents, bumaba yan. And it, uh, the lowest, I think, was 3,000 or two, a, little, a little below 2,000, 3,000 uh, uh, regulars uh, of the CPP NPA and strength. So, sir, pinapalaki nila yung numbers to justify the budget? I don't want to say that, but people probably would surmise that. Uh, yes. Nagganon. Kasi siya mismo nag-pronounce eh. 24,000. Eh, sandali. 
3,500 na lang yan. 3,000, 3,500. Paano naging 24,000 yan? Di ba? And, and, yeah. Di ba? Naka, nakakataka. Nakakataka. And it's mind-bungling really. Bakit? Especially for someone like me who comes from the uh, security sector. Uh, as I've said, uh, 30, 38, almost 38 years ako sa servisyo. Tapos biglang ganun, biglang lumaki ang 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 strength eh, pa paano nangyari yon uh, na, na, na ganun eh kung sasabihin naman nila uh, probably an excuse would there if if, if I may uh, 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 jump the gun on that so to speak na nakwanda kung sasabihin naman hindi kasama diyan yung militia yung militia ng bayan yung mga kwanda then these are not terrorists militias are not terrorists these are not armed groups so paano paano mo na, na, nakukuha doon I, I i really can't see see ano yung nangyayari but nagkaganon eh I, I i don't i don't i don't i'm not asking that it be explained by them but syempre if you are in the know how you will be surprised and again uh, if i may use the word it's really mind bungling bakit nagkaganon is it yes, because sir. of budget i don't know so, sir, uh, I was wondering also, going back a bit, bakit si VP Lenny nire-red tag ng husto? Samantalang si President Duterte, nung 2016, he openly, you know, he went to, he appointed members of the left to the cabinet. He was friends with Joma. He displayed this friendship. Pero hindi he siya, raised sir, the flag of the CPP NPA yes, in Davao. Sir, hindi siya, hindi siya ni red tag. Bakit? Uh, siguro kasi siya ang president. <laughs> I don't know. I really don't know. Bakit hindi sila gano'n? But you know, uh, sa akin yung nakikita ko, bakit si VP? Kasi, you know, nag-start lang to in, in January, yung talagang sunod-sunod nilang rinired tag si, si VP Lenny. If you will look at uh, uh, the, the, the incidents that have happened, biglang yung January, yung dumadami ang tao na nag uh, susuporta kay VP Lenny. Uh, yung, 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 the, the crowd in the campaign sorties, doon na nagsimula, left and right. Uh, paglabas na 47,000 in this area, pak, labas na naman. Merong ganito na may connection, may mga galing sa NPA na naandun sa crowd. Uh, yung nag uh, 100 plus thousand sa Pasig, oh, meron na naman doon, bayaran, mga NPA. Na ganun. And they conveniently say it's... Uh, uh, information report and and i'm very much uh, very much surprised that also with yung ka eric uh, if that, if i'm correct on that uh, have you heard that uh, marites on that that uh, yung nag surrender and is now running uh, for for uh, uh, the party list uh, as, uh, as a as first the ka eric na siya siya ang may connection kasi sabi niya yung mga uh, kakasamahan niya sa kaliwa or sa npa ang nagbibigay ng information you know if you uh, if if you if when, when I was in the military, pag ang isang tao nagsusurrender o ang isang tao na, na, na convert back into the folds of the law, the, the, the CPP-NPA declares them with a DA or with a disciplinary action and they uh, uh, lose contact with them. Bakit may contact pa si Ka Eric? So si Ka Eric ang mayroong connection sa CPP-NPA up to now because sinasabi niya ngayon lang niya natanggap yung report na yon. And Ka Eric, surprisingly, biglang nagsasalita, yung dumami nga ang supporters ni uh, Vice President Lenny Rubreno uh, in her uh, campaign or in her bid for the presidency. Sir, <clears throat> sir, we have a question from another viewer, Philip Hamilia. What yes. do you think of the following statement from the UN, Human UN, UN High Commissioner for Human Rights June 2020 report? And I quote, for decades, red tagging, labeling individuals and groups as communists or terrorists has been a persistent and powerful threat to civil society and freedom of expression. And Philip says it suggests that personalities have been engaging in red tagging even before Badoy and Duterte. What do you think, sir? Yeah, yeah, that's correct. I, I, I haven't read that UN High Commissioner uh, report, the report of the UN uh, C, uh, HCR, CHR on this. Uh, but, uh, you know, talagang binabantayan niya ng uh, United Nations. Uh, I remember uh, uh, in one time, I had a long talk with the International Labor Organization uh, as chief of the AFT Human Rights o Office uh, to, to engage in discussions and programs of uh, action that could address uh, 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 the, the, the labor sector who are uh, viewed to be members of the CPP-NPA if they instigate strikes or anything. 
there was a, a, an agreement between the government of the Philippines and and the armed forces of the Philippines not to to engage in red tagging. So so really, uh, probably it's in that report, but. Uh, I, it's true. Uh, labeling individuals uh, as communists is, is dangerous, uh, and, uh, and it's a threat to the individual and probably a threat to civil society. Uh, uh, our constitution uh, 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 guarantees the right to, to your to your uh, uh, own pananaw sa kind of a, uh, ideology that you would say. Uh, but when you take arms. That's the different story, or that's a different story. Doon na nagkakaroon. Because if you take arms and you use violence, you are already violating a certain provisions of the revised penal code or certain uh, uh, guaranteed rights of an individual uh, in the UN Declaration of Human Rights. Sir, uh, you have a very broad-minded view, and I was wondering, are you in touch with active members of the military? And what do they... In your conversations or exchanges, do they are they ag agreeable? I mean, are they in agreement with red tagging with this practice? Uh, uh, there are some who says no. There are some who are just a uh, uh, mum about it, uh, probably because uh, they are afraid uh, because they are in the active military service. I do understand that. I was once there, so talagang. But you see, uh, mer mer meron talagang uh, from the active service na ganon. Uh, I, I don't think they just don't want to be identified with it. But uh, surprisingly, meron dyan isa rin eh. I think uh, they, they put into the mouth or into the words or into the quote cards of a certain officer na uh, linagay talaga nila yung quote na uh, addressing pa the vice president. And that 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 officer, uh, uh, kumbaga nagreklamo, hindi ko yan sinabi, bakit yung linagay? Uh, and uh, you know, I have a copy, uh, Marites, of the apology that was sent to that officer. Now they, uh, it was not even inadvertently mentioned. It says that when we place the name of the vice president, we know it was wrong. So talagang parang anito, there is a concerted action to do this, and I think that should not be done. Si President uh, Duterte na mismo, di ba, sabi niya recently, I think that was yesterday. I don't want to endorse anybody because uh, it might be misread. So, dapat, dapat ganun. Bakit dadadagdagan ng political color itong fight against the insurgency? And Marites, that's the, the thing that is convincing us, uh, members of the retired sector, uh, to support VP Lenny. Kasi VP Lenny has really a clear understanding, a clear picture, and a clear program of action uh, towards addressing insurgency. Di ba, uh, uh, if you would note before, it was always said, uh, let us look into the root causes of insurgency, diba? Tapos they say, uh, I think you have heard, you've heard that in your in your in your uh, so many years of experience in the in the media. Uh, let us uh, look into the root causes of uh, insurgency. Alam mo na tweak yan ng konti ni Vice President. Eh. Ang ang, ang pananaw niya ngayon is uh, doon sa kanyang uh, uh, tapat na uh, gobyerno ng tapat angat buhay sa seguridad. Nakalagay doon eh yun tutugunin ang mga pangangilangan ng komunidad uh, uh, upang ma-resolve yung uh, threat on insurgency. Uh, he, she, she looks into it, let's look at the root causes of dissent that breeds insurgency. Kasi pag sinabi mong uh, ang root cause ng insurgency is poverty, uh, Marites, ang daming pa nasa poverty level dito sa atin, pero hindi naman lahat nasa NPA yun. Root cause of uh, insurgency is injustice. Maraming incidents na there are injustice, uh, especially in, in the far-flung areas. Pero hindi naman lahat yun nasa NPA. Eh. So, ang tinitingnan ngayon ni, ni Ma'am, ni VP Lenny, is yung ano ba ang nagkukos ng dissent dahil ni itong mga root causes na to, that uh, which are the, the causes dissent na nagpupwersa sa isang tao to raise up uh, in arms against government. Di ba? Yung mga unemployed, di ba? Root causes kasi malataas ang unemployment. Pero hindi lahat hindi naman lahat ng unemployed uh, nasa 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 CPPNPA. Hindi lahat, as I mentioned, hindi lahat yung nasa poverty line, below poverty line nasa NPA. But ano ba yung nagkakaroon ng dissent at sumasali sila sa uh, armadong grupo ng uh, CPPNPA? And yun ang gusto niyang tutugan, tutu uh, titingnan. And that, that, that augurs well for us in the military sector uh, who were once in the military sector. 
we were arms better uh, in, in, in the past when we were in the service. And nakikita namin, that would be probably the very solution sa insurgency problem natin. A whole-of-nation approach, a people-centered approach na makikita kung ano yung nagkokos ng dissent para ang isang tao maging NPA. Kung maputol natin yon, then wala nang mag npa Wala nang papasok sa armadong grupo. So, sir, uh, would you be, would you compare this whole of, I think yung whole of nation approach, yung addressing the roots of the insurgency, sir, matagal na ho yun, di ba? Uh, that's the Under, tweak nga eh. Addressing the roots, the, uh, that's the tweak na, na nakikita ni, na, ni, because when, during our, our, our discussions with him, yung mga meeting namin na kinukonsult niya kami, yun, yun na mismo ang nabigkas niya. Uh, uh, looking into the root causes of dissent, yung prepositional phase na yun na, of dissent, of dissent that breeds insurgency is yung gusto niyang tingnan. Kung baga, that's the that's the arrow in the bull's eye na na pwedeng ma, ma, magawa. So if if ever uh, if ever she becomes the president, then probably we will really see an end to this insurgency problem that we have, and hopefully we we support. Kaya yung nakikita na maraming sumu support tadon. Uh, coming from a uh, from the retired sector of the armed forces of the Philippines, many officers, general officers, other kinds of officers, uh, na, uh, non-commissioned officers, uh, non-uniform personnel, ng, uh, either with the PNP or with the AFP, are, are, are supporting the, 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 the vice president on this program of government, niya, yung angat buhay sa siguridad. Sir, as a final question, would you be able to give advice to our listeners, our viewers, civilians? How how do we fight red tagging? How do we counter it? What do we do if we read reports uh, on social media, on mainstream media, sir? What's your advice? Makikita natin yan, Maditessa, uh, uh, in the example that is being shown by the Vice President right now. She just continues to make mention that that is not true. That is not, And she doesn't throw oranges just like what they're doing. She's not involved in mudslinging also. Wala siyang in-name na, uy, ganito, mali, or things like that. You cannot see that in her. And that's a, a, an aspect of a true leader. That's a trait of a true leader na, na dapat natin talaga uh, to, for us to see as, a, as the future president natin na, 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 ng, ng ating bansa. So, yon. that's one. Secondly is, uh, let's not believe in false news. Hindi lang yung false news, but statements that are baseless. Statements that are just said, ito natanggap kong report, but wala namang mapakita kung ano talaga yung report na yun. Ay ito sabi ng mga fan. In the legal parlance, I think, I'm no lawyer, but that's hearsay. And you do not use hearsay in, 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 in accusing anybody. It will not gain anything in court. And that's probably up to now. They just engage in, 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 in red tagging the, the vice president saying this, saying that, without any basis of a, a, a proof or being facts that are presented before everybody na, na pandon. Uh, makikita natin na talagang uh, uh, parang it is by design. And uh, using the, the definition of uh, being scurrilous, it is really with an intent to defame the image of the vice president or her leadership and defame her para... Uh, again, uh, which is uh, the straight, frustrating part of it, na wag daw iboto. And if I may advise your listeners, your, your subscribers, the kundo on, let's discern carefully yung mga iboboto natin. Whether it's the vote of General Tutaan, whether it's the vote of Marites Vitug, or it's the vote of Juan de la Cruz, it is a vote that is important. That it is a vote that is uh, very sacred. Kung gagamitin natin ito with a nice discernment, yung talagang pag-aaralan natin, hindi natin papaniwalaan yung mga fake news na yan or yung mga fake allegations, uh, mga, uh, pagkasuni, ka, mga lies na sinasabi nila, then let's vote for somebody who is really uh, have that or who has that trait of a leader na pwede nating uh, tingnan uh, in the next six years to lead us to a better life through a better form of uh, uh, governance. At uh, yun nga, yung sinasabi ni uh, VP Lenny, tapat na uh, gobyernong tapat, angat buhay para sa lahat.
Yes. Uh, thank you, sir. I just wanted, pala, I forgot to mention that there are cases pending, sir, diba, with the ombudsman yes. against Badoy. So I let's hope that something uh, will come out of these cases, even if yes. it's only a few more months, no? Because yes. she uh, heard her sana, term ends sana, on June 30, sir, di ba? Yeah. Sir? Sana, sana this can be acted upon. Kasi para matigil to. Especially on 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 on, on, uh, on playing partisan politics. Obvious naman eh. I think you would say it's obvious. Kung sino yung gusto niyang supportahan na kan doon. Hindi lang niya masabi siguro directly kasi natatakot din siya. But she knows na meron siyang maling ginagawa. And uh, sabi nga ng iba eh, for some na nakakausap ko, paano kaya nila nasisikmura yon? We're in they themselves even Yusek Badoy was was with uh, people who are uh, believed to be with uh, affiliated with the left uh, during the early stage or uh, early years or early months of uh, of the of the, the, the president Duterte's uh, administration so again yung ating mga boboto sa May 9 tingnan natin uh, i would not campaign directly uh, kumbaga hindi naman yung pang, pero tingnan natin kung sino dapat ang nararapat na iboto para sa ating pagiging maging pangulo at uh, bisi pang, uh, pangalawang pangulo. Para naman uh, meron tayong makitang government uh, that is uh, with credibility, with capability, with integrity, and most of all, has dignity to govern us in the next six years. Sir, well said. And a government that will not violate our rights and red tag yes. us. <laughs> yes, uh, yeah. Who advocates human yeah. rights? Uh, yeah, even the mo, media, na red tag na, na, na shift na namin yan when uh, I, I would not gain credit for it. But uh, during during the the, the years of uh, 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 yung pag, uh, paradigm shift ng AFP towards uh, the advocacy, yung uh, yung, uh, yung rights uh, of the individual or respect for human rights yung na shift yan, is talagang uh, uh, gumanda na yung pag. Uh, pamamalakad ng AFP as far as kan naging respect, respectable lahat kasi uh, of, of serving human rights na eh. Uh, then uh, pag ito, pag nag-continue at magre-red tagging lang tayo, parang nasayang yung efforts ng AFP. So yung mga nasa active office uh, active service pa ngayon, parang yung efforts yun nasasayang kasi because of this red tagging efforts being undertaken by a few members of the the, the task force or LCAC na nakwadoon with probably some... Uh, political uh, inclinations na kada yung efforts mo na pinaghirapan na sayang and uh, please don't put that uh, let that go down the drain let, let's let's also alam kong dapat kayo neutral your your uh, your uh, only role in this election is to vote and to protect the uh, right to suffrage of the individuals during the election uh, uh, especially during election day yun lang ang role nyo. do not engage yourselves in partisan politics be a political and maintain the professionalism of the armed forces of the Philippines. Wag nating sirain yan. On that note, on that very clear call, thank you so much, General Tutan. Right. Napakalinaw ng thank role also. ng armed forces, na active service. Salamat yes. at sa ating lahat ng nanonood at nakikinig. We will continue to talk about issues like this. And we hope that uh, this discussion has been helpful. Salamat ule. Yeah. Thank you, thank so you much very much. Thank you very much. Goodbye. Thank you and thank Goodbye. you for the invite. Goodbye.